If you're planning on waiting until the official state retirement age of 67 to retire, you're making a big mistake. 67 is far too late to set as a target date for retirement. 10 years earlier at least makes more sense. Welcome to my channel, I'm Nick. I'm 63 years of age and I retired 19 years ago at age 44. If you're new here, this channel is dedicated to helping you retire early. In this video, I'm diving into why 67 is far too late to retire and why aiming for 57 or earlier makes a lot more sense. This video is not going to give you any financial advice. Instead, I'm going to concentrate on the lifestyle benefits of retiring earlier than 67. I want to share with you why it's really important to bring your retirement date forward by at least 10 years and preferably more. First, I'll outline the problem with retiring at 67, then we'll move on to the incredible benefits of early retirement. Finally, I'll give you some strategies to transition smoothly into retirement. Let's get started by understanding why 67 might not be the best age to retire. First, let's talk about the time that you've got remaining on this planet. Most of my viewers are from the USA, the UK, Canada, Australia, New Zealand and Ireland. So let's focus on the average life expectancy of men in those countries. In the US, it's 76. In the UK, it's 80. In Canada, New Zealand and Ireland, it's 82. And Australia, 83. Let's all move to Australia, right? Assuming you make it to 83, like the men of Australia, if you retire at 67, you'll get about another 800 weeks on the planet. If you only make it to 76, like the men of the USA, you'll get barely 500 weeks of life. Think about that for a moment. The average 67 year old in the US has less than 500 weeks left on the planet. That is a sobering thought. But here's the important question. How many of those are going to be active healthy years. Retiring well before 67 enables you to maximize your healthy years. As we age, our health and energy levels decline, severely limiting our ability to enjoy our retirement. Do you really want to waste your best years working? If you answer yes to that question, you need to have a rethink. I suggest you read the book, The Top 5 Regrets of the Dying by Bronnie Ware. I'll leave a link below so you can get yourself a copy. Bronnie Ware was a palliative care nurse, nursing people at the end of of life. In her book, she talks about the five biggest regrets of the people she nursed. And the second biggest regret of them all is, I wish I hadn't worked so hard. Here's the thing, this came from every single male patient that she nursed. Yes, every single one. They deeply regretted spending so much of their lives on the work treadmill. They regretted missing their children's youth. They regretted missing their partner's companionship. Swapping time with your family for work is probably the stupidest thing you can do. But so many men actually do it. I was one of them, but at least I woke up at age 44 rather than 64. Not only do you miss out on quality time with your family, but extending your working years keeps you on the hamster wheel and often leads to more stress and even burnout. The knock-on effect of those things is that your lifespan will probably be reduced even further. You might want to push through the last few years of work for whatever reason that is personal to you. But the truth is, the quality of those years is diminishing fast. I get it, societal norms pressure you to keep working longer. Even though you're far too old, maybe you're still being too competitive, driven by all the wrong things, acquiring stuff, accolades and awards. Or maybe you just get off on the power, who knows? But whatever it is, you need to have a rethink. Ask yourself the question, is working to 67 really worth the trade-off of working through your healthy and active 50s? Statistics show that our health and energy decline more rapidly after 60. By waiting until 67 to retire, you're reducing the amount of active time that you have left on the planet. Those are healthy years when you could be doing things that you really enjoy and that's not work. It's an opportunity to travel and enjoy your hobbies and interests. If you knew your life ended at 80 years old, a lifespan of four 20 year quarters, would you really continue working until 67? That's seven years into your fourth and final quarter. I retired at 44, which was only four years into my third quarter, leaving me with plenty of time to enjoy the things in life that are more important than work. Many people have commented on my videos that 44 is far too early to retire, and they may be right, but it eventually worked for me. 
In the end, after some difficult early years, I worked out how to get the best out of my retirement, and I share that in other videos. I won't sugarcoat it, the years between 44 and 50 were difficult, but they did enable me to experiment with retirement and what I enjoyed doing. I made a lot of mistakes, and I share those in some of my other videos. But retiring at 44 also brought huge benefits. Let's talk about them next. Retiring early allows you to enjoy midlife rather than waiting until later life while you still have plenty of time left on the planet and you are in better health with higher energy levels. Imagine waking up every day with the freedom to do whatever you want without the constraints of a job holding you back. It takes discipline and planning to get the most out of those years, but it's a lot better than work, I can tell you. Retiring well before 67, and I would say at least 10 years before, gives you every opportunity to maximise the healthy and active years remaining. I've heard midlife referred to as the youth of your senior years, and that's a good phrase. That sums it up quite nicely. By bringing your retirement date forward, you have more time and energy to pursue passions, hobbies and interests that are important to you. Maybe it's travelling the world, or picking up new skills, or even doing a little bit of work. But the one thing is that spending more time with family and friends is the real benefit. Many retirees experience significant improvements in their health and well-being after retiring. Once they leave the workforce, the stress that they've been experiencing just melts away. Retirement brings its own unique set of stresses, but nothing like those in the workplace. When I retired at 44, I was a burned out, angry stress head who was three stones heavier than I am now. I suffered from migraines and other health conditions, and I hardly ever saw my family because of the long hours that I worked. It didn't take me long. By the time I was in my 50s, I was fit and healthy and free of the pressures of work. I no longer suffered from migraines. Life was much lighter in every single way, with plenty of time to enjoy the only thing that really matters in life, spending time with my family. So I did just that by being a stay-at-home dad to my then seven-year-old son, spending lots of quality time with him and traveling to experience what the world has to offer. Thank God I woke up at 44, not 64. Take it from me, your mental health will improve dramatically once you retire. When you're no longer dealing with the grind and pressures of work, life is a lot easier. Imagine the freedom to travel, learn new skills, and spend quality time with loved ones and friends without the pressures of work. The benefits of early retirement extend far beyond enjoying free time. It's about enhancing the quality of your remaining life, especially during those precious healthy years of your 50s and early 60s. Now that I've covered the benefits of early retirement, I'll share some strategies for transitioning smoothly into retirement. Transitioning to retirement earlier requires planning and preparation. Start by setting realistic goals. It's never too early to start thinking about what your retirement looks like. Finding new activities and passions to replace work is crucial. I recommend a book by Arthur C. Brooks called From Strength to Strength. I'll leave a link in the description below. It offers guidance on how to transition into a fulfilling retirement and get the best out of the years of your final quarter. You need to invest time in maintaining your health through regular exercise and getting enough sleep. Proper nutrition is equally as important. On the work front, you're allowed to do a little bit of work if you want to. I have. From 50 years of age, I've been doing one or two days a week, consulting, advising and coaching, so that I can use my experience of the last 30 or 40 years of work to help other people on the path behind me. You might want to do the same thing as me, or maybe you want to do something like volunteering in the health service or at the citizens advice bureaus. I know a lot of retirees who get fulfillment from those activities. Retirement doesn't mean you have to stop being productive or completely give up work if you don't want to. It's about shifting to activities that bring you joy and fulfillment and having a better balance between work and life with your family. To get the most out of your precious time, plan your days to include activities other than work. Find things that you enjoy and that keep you mentally and physically stimulated. Whether it's joining clubs or traveling, maybe taking classes, staying active is key to a happy retirement. To recap, 
I've discussed the limited healthy time that you have remaining if you retire at 67, the joy and benefits of early retirement, and strategies for making the transition smoothly. Retiring well before 67 will significantly enhance your quality of life by allowing you to enjoy your retirement to the fullest. I encourage you to consider your own retirement timeline and make choices that align with your personal goals and well-being. Bring the date of your retirement forward. Don't wait until you're 67. You know it doesn't make sense. It's a big mistake. Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below to help others. I'd love to hear from you. Watch this video next to learn why saying no is the most important skill that you should develop if you want to enjoy a happy retirement. Thanks for watching.